Hi, we're here at GSI and I'm uh, going to demonstrate ASTM D5993 GCL Mass. You need a coupon of the material. Uh, this has been taken from the roll width sample of the material. And now you'd like to use a uh, clicker press to uh, stamp out a uh, piece of material. Here you see it. Uh, this was one done earlier. Cardboard underneath and then the sample uh, around it. We are using a steel rule die, uh, very sharp. This one happens to be uh, six inches by six inches. The minimum required is uh, four inches by four inches or 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter. Uh, this is placed on the coupon of GCL. We have the cardboard underneath. The cardboard is to actually trap the material. I'll start the clicker press. <laughs> And now what we have is the sample, the GCL is here and it's constrained inside the die with this, uh, this cardboard. We'll now pan over to the, uh, con uh, the balance. So what you'd like to do is zero the balance. The balance has a uh, container on it. It's uh, two ASTM 4753 to 0 .01 gram accuracy. You'd like to verify the balance. This is a 50 uh, gram mass and it's on. Uh, this die now, you, you'd like to extrude the sample from it. The die is sharp, so. And then subsequently to uh, take the piece of cardboard out from it. You now have uh, 220 grams approximately of material and this is the pre-weight of the uh, material of the GCL. You'll then take this off this container and place it either in an aluminum tin or a, a ceramic or glass bowl. Uh, you'll do this uh, two different types of drying. One is oven drying with a forced air oven as per ASTM E145 or a microwave, you'll have to use the glass or ceramic in the microwave. The power rating of this has to be uh, greater than uh, 700 watts. So uh, pretty straightforward. You'll dry it uh, for about 16 hours in the uh, forced air oven and uh, in the microwave you'll have to experiment it. Watch out so that you're not uh, killing the element you get it to equilibrium where uh, the mass does not change after drying it. It usually takes somewhere around uh, 6 to 10 minutes depending on the uh, moisture content of the GCL. What you'll also need from this is the mass per unit area, the geosynthetics which are attached to the uh, GCL. In this particular case there's a woven on one side and a non-woven textile on the other which has been needle punched together. The mass per unit area of those uh, components are typically given to you uh, by the manufacturer. For instance, uh, these particular uh, textiles are in the uh, 6 to uh, 10 ounces per square yard range in the neighborhood of 200 to uh, 350 grams per square meter. So this is ASTM D as in David 5993 mass per unit area of uh, GCLs.